He also spoke about what he called the very dishonest media once, once again. I want you to listen to Sean Spicer on Air Force One on the flight back to Washington. He was questioned about that. That story was so riddled with inaccuracies and lies uh, that it, they, owe, they owe the president an apology uh, for the way that that thing was. There, there were just literally blatant factual errors, um, and it's unacceptable to see that kind of reporting or so-called reporting. Um, that that is literally the epitome of fake news. What was Part of that story was the detail. Just you, t I mean, there, there were, you start at the top. I don't think the president owns a bathrobe. Definitely doesn't wear one. Now, he was referring to a story in the New York yeah. Times today in which uh, it, it mentioned the president wearing his, ba uh, his bathrobe at, at night was talking about uh, what was going on inside the White House. Well, I should say that um, our friend Jake Tapper has already emailed around a picture of Donald Trump wearing a bathrobe. Now, it was many <laughs> decades ago, so perhaps it, it's not with him anymore or maybe doesn't fit or whatever, but, he's, but you know, it, there, it does exist. But are we really having this conversation mm -hmm. <laughs> about... Whether it's Donald Trump and bathrobes, or more importantly, it gets to the core, and, and this is actually, I'm joking, but this is very serious. You, I can say, you can attack the media every time you don't like something. You can, and he does. And he has the freedom to do that, just like we have the freedom and the responsibility, I should say, to try to report out what is happening in this country. But, like, come on. At a certain point, it's going to be, like, even people who support him and cheer him on for that are going to be like, we don't want to hear it anymore. Just do your job.